Hey everybody, it's Ziz here, and we are back on the test server taking our very first look at the Crown Store. I have not looked at it at all. These are my very first uh, impressions you're going to hear from me uh, as we hop in. Now, like I said, I'm on the test server. It has patch 1.6, so if you want to check this out for yourself, download it and hop in. You have to be a subscriber to the game now, but these will be the live uh, features that are going to be in the game when it comes out on March, uh, in March, and then of course uh, for consoles eventually. Um, it's going to be available right away. Again, they use crowns. If you want to know how the crown works, uh, crown system and everything, we're going to go over that. Now to pull up the, the crown store, it's going to be the comma key on your keyboard, and it pulls it up there. Now it looks like there's some bundle things you can get here for a bunch of crowns. This is 2100 crowns, and this is 1500. It has a little crown thing. Uh, and I have zero crowns. I don't know why I have zero. I thought everybody on your account was supposed to have some to test it out. Um, now if you don't have crowns, you can buy some. So right here, you're going to click on that, and this is going to take you to the website. Um, we don't want to do that right now, but you go on there, it would take you to the Elder Scrolls Online website. You're going to put in your credit card, you're going to buy some crowns. I don't know exactly how much they are yet. Um, you could probably buy them in 10, 20 dollar increments, something like that. Probably gets you 3,000 or 5,000 crowns, something like that. Now, if you don't want to pay money for crowns, there's a couple other ways you can get them if you don't know already. One, if you are still a subscriber, if you pay um, the 15 dollars a month for the game, you don't have to. Once it comes out in March, you don't have to pay each month anymore. But if you want to, you pay 15 dollars a month. You get ESO. Plus, and it's going to give you 1,500 crowns every month. Um, on top of that, for every month that you've been a subscriber, so if you've paid for the game up until now, you're going to get an extra 100 crowns for every month. And you also get 500 crowns just for buying the game. So um, you buy the game, you start playing, you get 500 crowns right away, plus an extra 100 for every month you've had. And if you're a subscriber each month, you get another 1,500. But if you don't have all those crowns, if you're not a monthly subscriber, or if you still want more, you can click right there and you can go buy it. Now, let's take a look here. These are some bundles, the Digital Imperial Edition. I already have this edition, but if you didn't already, um, you'd be able to buy this. It lets you get the Imperial Race, gives you a white horse, Pledge of Mara, which lets you level up faster with a friend, um, and then a mud crab there. Now, this is a starter's pack. It looks like it's good if you're just uh, starting out low level. Gives you 20 of each of these potions. This is Magicka, Stamina, and Health. You also get uh, this looking horse here, which is nice because then you don't have to buy a horse. So if you don't have the Imperial Edition, then you can do this. And then you don't have to spend the gold in game. And remember, they changed the way uh, that mounts are going to work. So all the mounts are going to have the same speed that's based on your riding skill. So you could get this, and then you don't have to use gold in game, which is nice. And then you also get this uh, little pet here. Now, one cool thing is that these potions right here level up with you. So as you can see, the points right there, like this gives 4,500 Magicka. That's based on my level, this veteran rank 14 guy here. But if you're using this on a level 5 or a level 20 character, that amount is going to scale with you and it's going to level up with you as well. So these are actually really cool for leveling. That way they don't become useless as you get a higher level. But they're still not as good as um, the highest level potions. Like if I had a veteran rank 14 potion right now, you know, the highest level potion you can get or whatever, it's not going to be as good as, uh, it's going to be better than these. These won't be as good as it. Which is nice because then you don't have to worry about um, pay to win. You're not going to have people buying crowns and buying the best potions in the game. And you can't do that. Um, you're still going to need to get them from other people that are actually playing. So that's the two bundle packages there. Now, uh, consumables, like we were just talking about, you can just buy flat out health, magicka, and stamina potions. You get 20 each for 200 crowns. Not too bad. Um, these would actually be pretty good. I could see myself using these because... I hate trying to hunt down crafters and go gather resources and all that stuff for potions. So I usually don't use potions just because I'm too lazy to get them. But if I can click on here and get some potions, that could be pretty good. That would actually help me a lot in PvP. Um, a repair kit, which is nice. You get 10 for 400. Um, and this repairs everything in all your damage equipment. So not just one item, but everything you have. Um, so that could save you money as well. That could save you gold, uh, especially if you're doing dungeons and stuff where you're dying a bunch. 
that's really helpful. Especially, you know, you don't have to go back to town or anything like that right away. And then here's also some soul gems. Um, lets you resurrect people as well as uh, fully charge weapons of any level. Doesn't matter what level they are. And that's pretty cool there. You don't have to worry about having the right level, right thing anymore. So these are really convenient items. I feel like they can help a little bit with saving you some gold. You don't have to spend any more gold on soul gems or repair kits. A lot of people that play all the time aren't really worried about that anyway. Um, but if you were, then those definitely help you out. Um, next are costumes. <laughs> now, this is the Armored Knights pack. Um, and you can see it specifically tailored to look like NPCs that are in the game already. Um, so the Lion Guard Elite, Knights of the Flame, those NPCs look like this already. It's actually lower level gear, but if you're a high level character like this guy here, if you don't like the look of this gear, you want to look like this, then boom, you could buy it right there. 700 crowns for three packs, not too bad. Here's some medium armor, make you look like a stealthy rogue. And this here is light armor, kind of look like a shaman. Um, Woodland Scouts pack. Um, which I wonder, was there anything? No, there's nothing to scroll down there. All right, so scrolling down here, Woodland Scouts pack. You look like a uh, tree hugger there, sweet. Blacksmith, you wanna look like the blacksmith NPCs in game, a chef outfit. Royal, <laughs> Royal Court Jester is the creepiest thing I've ever seen. Um, the Polymorph, you can look like dryer. And uh, Wedding Dress, which you can wear even if you are a male character. Uh, mounts. Now, remember, these mounts are the same speed as any other mount in the game. There's absolutely no difference. It's 100% just cosmetic. But if you got a bunch of crowns, if you want to collect all of them in the game, um, then here's some guars, like Banded Guar Charger, Tesla Guar, and then here's a gray, piebald, white mane, black with white mane, and a dapple gray. So, some different horses. And last but not least, pets. Now, again, these are not combat pets. You don't use them in combat. They don't do damage. They just follow you around. You got the panther that's 700, um, as opposed to all the other ones here, which are 400, probably just because it looks so cool. House cat, dune hound, guar, uh, a little tiny one. And it was a wolf hound and another little guar. So, all together, the mounts were 1,300 and 900. Um, pretty basic stuff. I mean, as you can see, this is very early. Um, you know, it's not officially out for another month, but everything in here seems pretty cool. I could see myself using some of the potions. Um, it'd be nice, maybe, if they had the potion that does all three, you know, because um, you can get potions from crafters that give you health, magicka, and stamina. Um, and since they're not as good as those potions anyway, It'd be nice if it was in there, but that at the same time, then you're going to have people saying pay to win and buy to win. I don't think there's anything in the crown store right now that is buy to win. It all looks like pretty basic stuff, mostly convenience. I do think using crowns can save you um, some gold. You don't have to buy a mount or anything like that. But the fact that mounts all have the same speed, it doesn't really matter. If you have the Imperial Edition, the white horse is going to be just as fast as any other horse. But if you didn't have any mounts whatsoever, and you did not have the Imperial Edition, then you could buy a mount here and it would save you 14,000 gold. Um, it's also really nice to have these potions as you're leveling up. Really, this starter pack right here with the mount and the potions is kind of the best thing you can get while you're leveling up a new character if you don't have a mount on them already. Um, other than that, there's not a lot in here that I myself would use, but people who like, you know, to look like a chef or something, uh, go for it. <laughs> People who want pets, sounds good. I'm curious to see where this goes though. You know this is gonna definitely grow over time. A lot of people, uh, developers are spending time on this now, making these things. So um, we're gonna see it grow over time. DLC will be in here in the future when they come out with new zones and things like that. This is where you're going to see them in here. You're gonna use your crowns to buy the DLC um, unless you're a monthly subscriber, then you get access to it for free. But uh, overall, I think it's pretty good. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Tell me what you think. Thanks for watching. I'll see you out there.